Welcome back to Good Day Tulsa. Well, they're affordable, they're easy to install and to provide real tornado protection. We're talking about New Day Tornado Shelters and Dirk's, Dirk DeRose is here to tell us more about this this morning. Dirk, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thanks so much. It's good to have you here on this uh, windy Monday morning. It is storm season. We had some storms earlier this morning. It's never too early or never too late to start thinking about safety. And uh, you have this with New Day. Tell us about this new type of futuristic uh, storm shelter. Well, when it comes to storm protection, you know, to be able to get into something immediately is really important. That's right. And we have some video, what we're going to show real quick, of um, the actual insulation process and the actual tornado shelter in people's homes. And, of course, it can go other places as well. Tell us about that. Well, there's two types of anchors that the New Day Tornado Shelter has. One is for inside of a garage. Gotcha. And if you have a garage, that's the very best place for it. If you don't have a garage, say in a mobile home or someplace, we have a special earth anchor that's designed to hold this thing in place and it's tested on site to make sure that it will do that. Excellent. So what are the advantages of having this new day sh storm shelter above others? Well, I tell you, uh, this is more cost effective than most anything out there. Mm -hmm. About a year and a half ago, I thought, how can we get more shelters in more people's right. homes? And the money part, that's a big issue. It really is. And because, I mean, they're rather expensive, but this kind of gives you an affordability offer, right? Exactly. But this is $3,000 installed, and that includes absolutely everything, tax and all. Okay. And I do give discounts for, like, any reason. Just give me an excuse. <laughs> you like that? So, hey, there, there's that motivation right there for you to call. Uh, uh, but uh, let's talk about the inside of this. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek in and, and kind of what was your idea in developing it in, in this fashion? I wanted to develop something that... Um, that was going to be just uh, comfortable to be in. It's a small enclosure, you know, and in small spaces, people normally aren't that comfortable in. But what I've done, I've, I've padded the inside of this thing in case it gets, you might say, over-occupied. Uh -huh. And uh, so that it's it's a space that uh, you're not going to occupy that long. Gotcha. Thanks to you and Frank and Taft. <laughs> Honestly, you guys are saving us money. Right. Because we're trying to get them in and trying to get them out. Precisely. If the red stuff isn't coming toward you, if you're looking at the Channel 8 and the red stuff on the screen is not coming toward your neighborhood, you're not going to be in the shelter. Right. So nowadays, a smaller shelter makes sense. It's less expensive. It's extremely strong because of the size, partly. Gotcha. And, uh, of course, the affordability is, is wonderful, too. But I kind of like this because it actually allows some air to flow in. Tell us about how you designed it this route. Well, ar around the door, there's a metered gap. Okay. And the desi design uh, calls for a narrow gap, but very long. It goes all the way around the door. And the purpose of that is that it gives you four times what the NSSA standard calls for in, in order for, for you to have breathing air. And let's talk about the NSSA real quick and their qualifications that you have to meet. You've exceeded all of those, right? Well, exactly. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on air, but, but they said I didn't have to shoot at this thing. Really? When they examined it, uh, Dr. Ernst Kiesling uh -huh. and some other doctors, very smart people, they looked at it and they said, we don't need to shoot at it. Gotcha. And real quick, I want to talk about the shape because this is unique as well. And, and why is it this shape? For lots of reasons. You know, you never think about something being stationary as needing to be aerodynamic. Right. But my goodness, you're talking about high winds. It must be aerodynamic. And the engineers that did the third-party evaluation said that this dome provides zero uplift in high winds, which is unheard of. Now, there's other forces on it, but the uplift is nothing because of the dome. Excellent. Well, Dirk, thank you so much for joining us today. Right. Great-looking model here. We hope that everybody calls in and gets it themselves. Here's some more information for you so that you can uh, possibly get it yourself. And I believe Keith is going to have that inside for us. Right, Keith, the more information on this wonderful new day storm shelter? You're always right, Mike. How about that? <laughs> I know you don't have your eyes be working right now, but Mike, I'll tell you when you come in. You're always right. New Day Tornado Shelters. For more information, give them a call, 277-3758. And you can also go online to find out more about this uh, product by going to newdaytornadoshelters.com.